Let's talk about the iPhone SE, the third generation, which is about to pop up and be released by Apple in the near or in the future in general. So let's talk about it. What is it expected to have or what can you expect to get out of it? Let's begin. First of all, we know about it because of the rumors, some Apple analysts that have predicted some other things in the past also talk about the iPhone SE third generation, and it kind of makes sense. They have credibility, of course, these are just rumors, but yeah, it is likely to happen. So the iPhone SE third generation is still supposed to have just the LCD display. And if you think about it, it makes sense. And I believe this claim and this rumor. And let me tell you why. As you know, the iPhone SE has always been cheap and is the special edition iPhone based on or focusing on the budget and acquiring more customers at the lower price point, of course. And LCD is less expensive than the OLED, so it makes sense that Apple just puts in uh, one of the best LCDs instead of investing more money into OLED and putting it into the iPhone S3, SE3 and um, making the, the price go up. Yeah, it actually makes sense. Another new thing that we can expect is definitely the 5G support. It's not that expensive to put that in and it is very likely to come in handy, of course, if the iPhones, like the next future devices, want to survive in the future and still be valid in like three or four years from now, then 5G is probably required and necessary for it. People also talk about the sub 6 gigahertz thing and I'm going to explain to you like what it is if you haven't heard of it uh, heard about it and it's pretty much the radio frequency uh, bands below 6 gigahertz of course and um, it is based on the fact that 5G are generally the same band used for 4G and 3G and some of these bands are split into 4G and 5G subdivisions. It wasn't such a big deal because prior to 2019, all radio frequencies, frequency bands used for mobile phones were below 6 GHz, but 5G introduced much higher frequency waves and uh, that is the reason that we need to uh, need the term sub 6 gigahertz to distinguish existing bands from the mm wave or whatever you want to call it i mean it's kind of in detail but you pretty much understand what i mean and yeah it's, it's just a term that we made up or created but anyways if you're new on this channel make sure to subscribe so you always are updated on what's going on and what's new on the apple stuff and in the apple world and all of that so make sure to stay tuned by subscribing of course and there is also one thing that people do not like about the iphone se second generation and that is the battery life but i'm gonna be honest with you i've used the iphone se for a while and i didn't really notice like huge battery problems like you do not expect a lot out of this device i mean of course it's not big the battery isn't big at all but it's not really that bad actually of course introducing 5g and other new tech then it may drain a bit more battery so it would make sense that apple would put like a bigger bigger one inside but it's not really that big of a problem and i just really want to know what you think about it if you have an iphone se second generation then let me know down below in the comments about your battery life i literally don't know what what to think about it like people say that the battery is bad i didn't think so some others say that it's okay but i cannot really tell what really is the thing of course it depends on the usage and the way you use your iphone but i guess that it's not that big of a deal i mean yeah we're at least gonna wait for the iphone se third generation to come and we'll see what happens to the battery life in general Okay, so these are the things that I wanted to say about the upcoming iPhone SE. Uh, is it going to be called iPhone SE 3? Most likely not. Apple also didn't say that the iPhone SE second generation is SE 2. The naming simply stayed iPhone SE and it is the new one, of course. The old one simply got removed from the lineup. It's not there anymore. And when the new one comes out, I can expect Apple to drop out the, the current iPhone SE and 
the new one is also going to be called iPhone SE, but we're going to know that it's the third generation. But anyways, thanks a lot for watching your support. If you have any other thoughts, then let me know down below in the comments. I will definitely see your comment because I read them and I reply to most of them. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching and see you guys later in the next video. Peace out.